directly from 42nd Street in Midtown Manhattan, New York. I am your host Harbin and you are watching my channel YOLO, you only live once. Okay, welcome to a new episode of my uh, retirement videos. One question that actually comes up uh, quite often is uh, how to avoid concentration in one particular stock uh, while investing. Uh, it's true for people who work uh, with companies that gives you stock options or RSUs, which are restricted stock units and it's very easy to basically accumulate uh, these in your portfolios uh, without even uh, knowing uh, and making it uh, actually a large part of your overall portfolio. Uh, the risk with uh, one particular concentration of a stock, uh, even if it is the highest performing stock in the market, is that uh, uh, if anything happens and it goes down, um, you actually lose considerable value of your portfolio. Uh, so as rule, basically, uh, you should not have any single stock more than 10% of your over portfolio value. Uh, uh, generally, people uh, or expert recommends 5 to 10%, uh, but uh, I think uh, with the company stock, it's very difficult to keep it under 5% but uh, you should be able to basically uh, not to overlook if it goes exceed 10% of your portfolio value. So what are the things you can do uh, to avoid uh, having concentration in one single stock, uh, generally your company stock? Uh, th there's very simple things you can actually do. You can anticipate uh, the issue to begin with and then actually take precautions or uh, take measurement to reduce the, or mitigate the issues to begin with. Uh, so first thing is that okay when you are actually trying to accumulate accumulate in a single stock you want to basically look at the prices and pick the most uh, favorable one for you so that you can actually uh, take care of the capital gains uh, uh, because the highest price stocks if you sell those uh, and you can actually have less gain uh, or if you basically uh, sell in a situation when they, you are basically having a negative uh, uh, growth on that so you can take loss and harvest loss uh, if the stock is rising, selling your RSU periodically is actually the best way to avoid concentration because uh, uh, RSUs work in a way that whenever they get vested, you have to pay tax on that vest price. So after you have already paid taxes on that, if you sell the your RSU at the same time, you don't generally get uh, uh, large tax uh, implications. But what happens when the stock power price is actually going down and you don't want to actually sell? So that means one is that, okay, if you're still selling your RSU periodically, you will not run into this problem. But sometimes which might happen that, okay, you think that the stock prices has gone down uh, too fast and you think it will recover. And then in that case, you don't want to basically sell in the low period. Uh, but since you are getting it periodically every quarter, uh, it is very easy to basically re not even realize and that you actually, it becomes more than 10% of your portfolio as soon as the price recover. Uh, so uh, let's look at the chart like, okay, so suppose your company stock was at dollar uh, 100 in uh, January or February of 2022 and then it started sliding and it went all the way to dollar 35 in september october of 2022 and during this period uh, you realize that okay you don't want to basically sell and if you look at quarter you already have three quarters of vesting 
and then you don't want to sell while it actually recover considerably so you have another two quarter of uh, vesting so by the time it comes March you already will have five quarter of vesting so that five quarter of vesting will actually push you above 20 percent of your portfolio value as the price recovers the point here is that as the value is low it's going down you are getting more stock vested in the sense that the in hand stocks are actually you are getting more at hundred dollar the tax would have been deducted from the uh, vesting the in, in hand rsu would have been less but at 35 dollar the same vesting would have resulted in much larger number of uh, stock depositing and then the price recovered to 90 your overall portfolio value have increased and your concentration have actually exceeded 20% uh, of your portfolio. The best thing to do is to realize that not in March of 2023 because by the time you reach March of 2023 not only your stock has your company stock has uh, revived but all other stocks on the market also have revived so the point you want to do is start buying during this dip of september to october or july to october or december time frame that's the time frame when you should actually anticipate that you will exceed 20 percent of your portfolio value if the price recovered in march or next year or 2023 so you start buying other stocks during this time of anticipated 10 percent of your portfolio value so if you look basically so if february of 2022 if you have a cash of 320 a non-company stock and mutual fund of 400,000 and your company stock of 80,000 uh, with total of 800,000 portfolio uh, and if you had during the five quarters of from January 2022 to March of 2023 of vesting of 500 RSU net in your hand would result in a total number of RSU of 2,500, which at $19 would basically bring your uh, revised, you bring your March concentration in company stock to 320,000, around 225 to 250,000 plus 80,000 will bring it around 320,000 depending on where the stock price is at that point while your cash has cash would have been basically 320,000 and your mutual fund of 400,000 so if you have not done anything then you would have 320,000 and 600, 40, and then 400,000 uh, would have made it 160,000, 1 million 60,000. Now, what I would have done is basically taken 160,000 cash from during and invested during July and September, October of or till November, December of that period in the in other stocks, not in my company stock, but in other stocks so as to basically bring my stock value up uh, to buy 200,000 because I would have invested 160 and it would have appreciated the way my stock has appreciated to 600,000. So my portfolio would have looked like this. Uh, I would have used my 160,000 cash to basically bring the stock portfolio up to 600,000 and my company stock now has grew to 320,000 so if you look I have now almost uh, 900,000 in uh, uh, 
my in stock portfolio, which is 90%, which is really high, and my cash is only 160,000, cash and bond is only 160,000. So what I need to do is instead of liquidating my stock portfolio here, I'm actually liquidating my company stock. So I actually reduce my company stock back to 120,000, which is around 12,000 from 30% to 12%. And I have increased my cash holding to now 360,000 from 320,000. So keeping it at 30%. So my cash portfolio to start with was 40%. I've reduced it to 30% and increased my this to 70%. So I can actually now take my time over the 2023, not hold on to any of my company stock. Now my company stock has uh, recovered. So I don't need to basically uh, build on my company stock and I can periodically sell as and when it vested and if uh, it, I'm still going to get uh, over the next four or five quarter vested to the same extent, uh, 250, 2500 stocks, so then I will be liquidating that to begin with and will be getting uh, whatever that vesting into my cash. So my cash position will actually restore to 40% or more. Uh, while keeping that, uh, managing my that uh, ratio. So that means that's the way to basically control your uh, single stock accumulation in your portfolio. Uh, you have to work before it happens because once you're in March, and if you have not invested uh, that 160,000 in the stock portfolio, if you try to actually do it now, you will basically will lose that appreciation. So that 40,000 would have gone, so you can't actually do that. Uh, so you, by doing that in the low period of time, you were able to basically uh, get uh, almost 20, 30% uh, extra uh, money which you have actually not got if you do the same thing when it comes in March and you realize that okay your accumulation of single stock is now 30 percent then there is nothing else to do but to sell it and then try to buy some other stock at the same time uh, then we you could have just bought it uh, then you would have lost that 40,000 appreciation I hope uh, this uh, gives you actually a good uh, insight into how to avoid accumulating a concentration of a single stock and uh, not to basically react when it actually happens, but uh, see it that it is going to come and take the appropriate actions accordingly. Uh, because the time it will happen, it will be too late for you to react. Yeah, you can still react it and basically rearrange your portfolio, but uh, the advantage of that low market w would have already gone or already passed. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Thank you.